Scots have worshipped nature since pagan times, and maybe some of us still feel closer to that kind of spirit than to the kirk. But traditional religious institutions have offered faith, inspiration and spiritual solace to thousands of Scots and inspired the most beautiful sacred music. I've come to Lewis to hear it at its best. Gaelic psalm singing, it's such a unique and powerful sound. You're known as a presenter. Correct. Uh, how, how does the whole process operate? Well, presenter really, I suppose, at the end of the day, is someone that leads the praise or presents the line or puts out the line, and then the congregation will respond. Now, historically, I think the thinking behind that was it goes back to the days where people didn't really have Bibles and people were illiterate as well. It's quite a pressure thing. The presenter has to think, let me find the psalm, and then in finding the psalm, he's then got to quickly work out, well, what are these words? What sort of tune can I put to this? Can you choose the tune on the night? So that... you, you choose the tune at the time, not just on the oh, night. Let's see. At the time. <laughs> What Gaelic psalm singing does, it takes the melodic line and each individual person in the congregation is singing it as an act of worship. They know the tune and they basically just sing it in their own way. For musicologists, it drives them nuts because they, it shouldn't really work harmonically and, and other ways, but yet it does. These Gaelic psalms are part of the Protestant faith, and this religion and its music has been in Scotland for around 500 years. John Knox, an Edinburgh reformer, brought the new Protestant religious revolution to this country. He was inspired by Calvin, a leading reformer in Geneva who had strong opinions on the role of music within the Reformed Church. Calvin advocated that church music is for everyday people, so it should be simple. Music must be modest if it's to praise the Lord, and a pure voice, unaccompanied, is the most appropriate way to praise God. The Reformation is often associated with the destruction of the arts, but it did create its own musical legacy. So what, what's the content of the songs? I mean, they're songs of, of praise, they're, they're praising God. Yes, absolutely. Gaelic psalm singing um, principally uh, comes from the Presbyterian tra tradition, which is very, very word-based. Everything comes from the Word of God. And I think people got a huge amount of solace from that. And, you know, in the days when, 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 when people came to church, not knowing even the following week where they would get the next loaf of bread or whatever, it was very, very important to them. When done well, it can be the greatest sound in the world. <laughs> 